In a nutshell, uh, Viva Bahrain is uh, an operator, a third entrant that used to be third uh, entrant in 2010. Today we are leading the market. We have been able to deliver to our promise to transform the uh, telecom market in Bahrain. Today we have the largest uh, customer base and uh, we are pushing the envelope on not only the consumer play but also to bring a lot of value add to our consumers and to the country as well because that is that's very essential for us. Our strategy was very clear that we will be transforming the telecom industry in Bahrain uh, and we will be delivering to the uh, requirements and the aspirations of consumers uh, in this country. We came in 2010 and we pushed in a big way uh, backed up by a very large group which is the largest telecom operations in the in the Middle East and the Arab world and we made a lot of changes into into the telecom space and we pushed it even further to the to the ICT space as well. We made sure that this country is at the forefront in terms of technology and uh, competing not only at, uh, at a regional level at a, at a local level but also regionally and globally as well. We have been growing very nicely uh, in the corporate space as well as investing heavily on our uh, uh, corporate clients' requirement. And, and we made sure that we are not only bringing the conventional services, because we do guarantee the conventional services in terms of quality, in terms of being very competitive, in terms of pricing, and so on and so forth, but we also bring the extras. And the extras to me is, is very important when I start talking to corporate accounts. We're doing a lot of businesses with different verticals, you name it, whether, whether it is banking, whether it is uh, education, utilities, uh, and we managed to, to have a very uh, uh, decent uh, set of customers that are sophisticated enough and uh, do have a lot of confidence on what we provide as, as uh, services, whether it is conventional or, uh, or uh, more into the digital applications and cloud services. I think Bahrain has made uh, the right decision on considering ICT as an opportunity for the country to diversify its uh, economy. I believe there is a lot of what it takes for that industry to flourish and I think we will start, if I start thinking of it, I will start thinking of it from the talent and the skill set that is being required for, for that kind of industry to, to, to grow. Throughout the six years that I've been looking after this operation, it's one of the largest investments for the last six, seven years mm -hmm. in Bahrain. And I never hesitated in investing, and I will never hesitate in investing in Bahrain. Because I do have the confidence on, on the system, I do have the confidence on the, on the regulatory framework, and the policy making, the government structure. And, and uh, although there is an economy issues at a global level, but once you start looking into how are they handling mm -hmm. it, you do have confidence and you do realize that the potential is there and you don't want to back it back off and not to invest because there is potential. I think there is that potential of providing telecom services to the region, financial services to the region, tourism services to the region and beyond as well.